Welcome to Truck Media. Today's topic is getting into trucking. What was your inspiration and what's your views on this industry at this moment? Today we are speaking to no other than Gene. Gene, the trucker right here. You know, Eugene Transport out here. Come to get a load with my boy right over here, man. We dealing yeah, with man. this warehouse. But we're yeah. going to get it done tonight, man. The day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, so... Gene, um, my question to you is, um, what, what, what inspired you to get into trucking? To be honest, getting into trucking was literally a last minute thing for me. I was right. going to, I started the college thing and, you know, college was, just wasn't for me personally. Wasn't working out, right. So my parents gave me the options. They said, listen, you go in a book, find out something that can make you good money. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, cool. Went into a vocational book, looked through it. I said, hey, I don't mind driving. Right. Let me go get my CDL. So it was a long process for me because I was working and then doing it. But mm -hmm. I am six years deep in this industry right now, man. Whoa, whoa, Six whoa. years deep in it. And it's been treating me good. Good, really great. This is actually my first year with my own personal truck. Yo, yo, yo. So, congrats, man. Thank you, congrats, man. Thank congrats. You. Thank you so much, yeah, man. Yeah, so, man. Yo, that's you know, it's big, a learning that's experience big. every morning. Every, yeah, every yeah, time yeah. I start that truck, it's a new learning experience. But my first year in the truck. Since I've been in the industry, I learned a lot, seen a lot, and I can only imagine the guys that have been out there for 20 years compared yeah. to the six years I've been out here on the road. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But personally, I've never been over the road. You, so, so you just drive like. So right now, since I've gotten, let me let me correct it. So when I first got my license, mm -hmm. I was doing over the road. It just wasn't for me. Right. I, and then I came back home. I started doing local work with uh, triaxle dump trucks. Right, right. I did that for about a year and a half, year and a half or so. I, I got, I got, because in this industry, if if anybody can tell you if you work for the wrong person, you probably won't get paid, and that's what ended up happening. Mm -hmm. So I ended up working for UPS. Got some experience with UPS. After UPS, um, where did I go after UPS? I went into the. I was still in the trucking game, but in the paving business in Jersey. And if you know about the paving out here. It, Every street needs to be paved yeah, nonstop. Yeah, yeah. I, and then I, after that, man, you know, that's when I made the decision. I don't want to work for nobody. I'll just work for myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, yeah. You, you know, it's a lot of headaches, you know, that comes with being an owner operator. But the most part about it is just, to me, it's like not having nobody, you know. Over your back. Yeah, over your back. You got to yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, you could do your own schedule because there's certain days you're going to want to, you're going to wake up and not want to get behind the wheel. Not every day you want to be behind that wheel, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to go with your conscience and your gut feeling. What your instinct tells you mm -hmm. is the best thing to follow. That's one thing I, I, I'm i big on that one right there. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and plus, you're, you're setting the path for a generation Yeah, wealth. of course. That's, what, that's you know what I mean? definitely one of those things. Because I'm, I'm young, man. So right now, I'm just trying to grow. Hopefully, I'm not planning on being a driver, but I plan on being in the industry for a long time long term but yeah, not yeah. just being a driver i'd like to expand my knowledge into something else right right you know what I mean? broker or owner of a warehouse Whatever. there's so many areas so many, in this yeah, industry it's not specifically just driving and just being behind the wheel right it's more than just that and a lot of people don't understand that you know what i mean it's yeah. just within the meantime of driving and everything you just try to try to gain the knowledge and learn new stuff even when you go to these warehouses if yeah, you have yeah, a warehouse yeah. what would you do different than this warehouse would do all right you right because I mean? You look at the problems yeah. and find a solution, exactly. and that's how you evolve. And it's easier you know? said than done, but it can be done. It can be done. It can be done. That's one thing for a fact. Yes, sir. Know? Yes, sir. Okay, so um, can you tell me, like, what 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 school did you um go to? So I went to Superior Trucking School in Jersey. Right. It's in um Fulker River in South Jersey. The way mine's worked out was I did it through a program through the Mom's Vocational School, which um. So pretty much, it was a nighttime school. You go there from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., mm -hmm. two days a week. And it's a six-month stretch until you get everything done, right. make payments. Um, it's a good program compared to, like, a regular program because I think regular programs, usually, I don't know about now, but at the time, regular programs were, like, $5,000 when I, when I went for my CDL. And I think I paid, like, 2500 bucks for my yeah. 2500 to 3000 if I'm... If I'm not mistaken. So, so it's a government aid. Is that it's not part even sponsor. really more like a government aid. It's just um, so in the county I live in, 
Mm -hmm. The uh, vocational school sends the booklet for all the classes that they're going to have for afternoon classes for adults. And they'll send it to everybody that lives in the county. And then it's just, I guess, it's whatever whatever they work out amongst them, whatever they work out. And then, you know, you see it in the book, 2500 You make payments, you start the program, and do what you got to do, pass the test, and you're on your own. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was yeah, a good yeah. experience. It was perfect for me because I was working a regular 9 to 5 job. Got off of work at five o'clock. Went to the class, and it was two days a week. So it's not it's not overwhelming compared to guys that got to go for the one month. You know what I mean? That yeah, yeah. One month program, but it was a learning experience, and for me, it was definitely great because uh, I knew I was more into it. When you know, when you're out of work or you're doing something else, and you're more focused on the trucking game. Like I used to be behind the. I was nine to five behind the computer. Instead of doing work, I was more focused on the trucking because this was like, I seen it as my future, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to put more money in my pocket. And I act, like I said, I enjoy driving. I don't mind driving at all. It's yeah, just yeah. the people on the road that I don't Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy yeah. sometimes. But, you know, it, it's all about a little give and take at yeah, times, definitely. you know what I mean? Definitely, you know what I mean? It's all about most be aware, safety. My, my key thing is make sure you get your rest. That's my number one thing. Mm -hmm. You gotta get your rest, cause at certain times you just don't know when you're gonna be driving. When I first came, like when I first got my truck, I wasn't used to the overnight driving thing. I right. was local driver, so I was driving during the day, and I thought, you know what, let's do a load overnight, man. I got so tired, bro. I pulled over. You know what? The load got there late. You know, I rather <laughs> the load gets there late before yep. I keep driving and get in an accident and yeah, know, yeah, yeah. cost somebody's life or cost my life or anybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, I respect that man. I respect know, that. You know, most importantly thing is my thing is get your rest because when you you you'll see the difference, which I've seen the difference in. If I get my six hours of rest during the afternoon and I got to drive at night, mm -hmm. I still feel like driving at night won't really bother me. Like the difference I'm trying to say with driving at night and driving during the day. Driving during the day, anybody will drive during the day. Yeah. But at nighttime, because you're you're trying to focus so much that your your vision, you, you, mentally, you get tired and everything. And that's why I say personally, number one thing in my book, get your rest. You got to get that sleep in at least six hours. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. Know, just so you can be ready for that road because you don't know, man. Like at nighttime, people think nighttime driving is easy, but it's really difficult. Yeah, Even yeah. though there's not a lot of cars, you still got to look out, especially in Jersey. There's northeastern region, deers, other cars. When you go to Pennsylvania, it's two-lane highways. It's a whole lot of stuff out here. But yeah. if you if you you know you got to go pick up a load, like today I got to pick up a load at nine o'clock at night. It worked out differently for me because of my local work and everything. But yeah, if yeah. I knew that I had to pick up this load and deliver it tomorrow, I probably would have. Um, got here got to this dock i know they're gonna have me for here for three hours two three hours yeah, you know yeah. what i'm gonna do well, you, you know you know brother as you say that um yeah. two three hours that's the next thing because when they, they they talk about um the all these time. loads on the ports mm -hmm. that need to be moved and all yeah. these good but goods backed up consuming. exactly yeah you you can't have drivers mm -hmm. sitting down for three four for five hours. hours six hours and then another thing is all right you got to sit in here for three four five hours but you're yeah. not thinking about the drive you got to take and the, the the customer that's waiting for the product you're right you know at the other end you know at a certain time now you're cutting that short time because now we got to rush 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 try to make the time that's why i tell you you know what yeah forget so, about the customer if any my safety and the people on the road safety comes first no that's matter it. what it that's comes it, down brother. to man because <laughs> just prime example yesterday and that's why i say you gotta be you gotta get your rest and just be aware 24 7. Mm -hmm. i picked up a load some in um south jersey yesterday coming out of coming out of the uh location we get to the traffic light obviously jersey Mm -hmm. Left lane, you make the left turn, and then the right lane, you know, go straight. The lady, she, you know, nobody has the patience for a tractor trailer. She goes around me, and yeah. if I wasn't aware and paying attention of this, I could have hit her. And then in Jersey, once you head on accident, no matter what the situation is, you're at fault. So, you know what I mean? Even if it was her, really her fault, but just because the front of your vehicle hit her back or side of her vehicle, you're yeah, at fault. Yeah, the only thing that saves you 
Because you got a camera in that truck. Yeah, yo, that's very important. Yeah, I got, that, that I camera. got two cameras <laughs> in my truck. Right yeah, there. yeah. Right now I'm thinking about putting one. Um, on the side mirrors? Yeah, on the side mirrors. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, one thing I could definitely say, even when I'm driving in the street path, man, you, and you could just look to look on that left, on your um, driver's side mirror, just look on that little small mirror on the bottom, and you'll see that car trying to get closer to you as it's you know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that camera on that side mirror definitely will make a big difference. I've been thinking about it too. Yeah, yeah, man. I saw, I saw a few guys with it and I said, yo, you know, it's, that's it's a genius. good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. yeah because man. In where I see it in Jersey, a lot of um, guys that have tri axle dump trucks, they have it a lot. Because those trucks in Jersey probably get in an accident about two to three times a week. Wow, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's rare that, you know, you go through a week and you don't hear that. So, yeah, yeah. That's it, but. Um, yeah, so but not to get off the topic, my thing for, for getting in it, getting in the trucking industry was mainly because, you know, I seen it as my future personally, and it was just, all right, I enjoy driving, and usually they say when you enjoy something, you don't see it as a work, you right. see it as, you know, this, this is me, man, you enjoy doing it, you don't just wake up every day like, ah, oh, shoot. I gotta go in here and go bust this load. Me, when I gotta do what I gotta do, I, I'm actually happy. It's just, yeah. it's just like a, I'm trying to, it's like solving a, a puzzle because you get to certain shippers and receivers and you're like, damn, how the hell am I gonna back up into this dock right here? And you figure it out one way or another. It's like a figuring game for me personally, but I yeah, enjoy yeah. it. I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, it, it's nice. As I, as I was, um, as I always say, it's a therapy. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Oh no, definitely. Yeah, oh, it's, it's very, very. It's a meditational man. moment for me, especially when I'm on the road. I'm in the truck by myself. It's time to think. It's always that's my time to think about my exp expansion. You know, yeah. what am I going to do next? What do I have set for tomorrow? What's for the future? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What's my goal? You know what I mean? It's yeah. a lot of things. You got so much time to think behind that wheel. Yeah. You can get a lot done, and then. Me personally, even when sometimes when I get to these shippers and receivers, I got a book in my book in my in my truck. Yeah. Read, gain the knowledge. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of things to do, man. It's fun though. Personally, for me, it's fun. Like I said, the owner operator side of it, I enjoy it. Company driver side, it was good. It all depends on who you work for when it comes down to it. Okay, so so before who, who you were driving with? Okay, so when I first started, um. When I first got my license, I was working for a family member. He had his, he got his own truck. Okay, okay, okay. It just didn't work out for me because, like I said, I didn't like over the road. Right. When I left him, I went working for a triaxle company in New Jersey, mm -hmm. doing local mm -hmm. runs. Right. Which, you know what, I like the triaxle game more than mm -hmm. I like the tractor trailer game, but like I said, it all comes down to who you work for. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. After the triaxle, that's when I went to UPS. Mm -hmm. After UPS, I went to the paving company. Yeah, and yeah, after yeah. the paving company, now I'm on my own and I'm enjoying it, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man, it, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm that's freedom. It. Yeah, yeah, definitely the freedom. And just, you know, my main thing was definitely the freedom, but just at least, you know, I, I know my value of work because when you go work for somebody else, they don't cherish what you could, like what you do for them yeah. or how you take care of their equipment or how it is. They just look at you as a number so that they can make an extra penny on top of your head, man. That's another thing with yeah, being yeah. a company driver sometimes. But you, you, yeah, thank you for that, brother. Mm -hmm. um, but you're doing something different, right? Yeah. Um, I see you're doing something different uh, here tonight. I see you're here with your mechanic. Yeah, I'm here you know with your mechanic, you know let, let, let us uh, eat him up real quick. All right. Hold up, hold up. All right. So, yeah, t right now, um, Gene is doing something that you don't see every don't day. See often. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Actually, for me, this is my first time seeing a driver with his mechanic. <laughs> you know what I mean? When, when you talk about hey, express, this is express, this is express. Yo, Gene, introduce, introduce this, this hey, mechanic. Man, look, look, guys. <laughs> this mechanic right here is one of a kind. Trust me, he's hella one of a kind, man. Even through the rough patches, he finds a way to help us out, man. And you know what? I'm gonna introduce my guy Ish right here, man. <laughs> you know, say hi to the YouTubers. You know what hey, I mean? Ish, you know, if it wasn't for this guy, man, you know this truck right here. I can't say where it would be, but <laughs> carry carry this truck a long way, bro. Believe it or not, carry my Peter Bird a long way. And you know, if I have an issue, all I gotta do is give him a shout. And you know, if he can help me through the phone. He helped me through the phone even from fucking a thousand miles away, bro. Yeah, yeah, You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's the smallest things, you know? Yes, sir. 
It's the smallest things, but yeah, yeah man. man. Having What's a mechanic up? just to check your equipment out is always the best thing. Yeah, man. Without the mechanics, you wouldn't be able to make no money out here. Yeah, you see, a lot of people don't give the mechanic no credit. The, 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 that the respect that they, they truly deserve. Exactly. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're yeah right. you know what I mean? Because it, like it, anything, it, it, if they, they're complaining that. The, the loads ain't moving Move. from the, the port exactly. and goods ain't moving from point A mm -hmm. to B and say, hey, so you see the equipment, right? Who is the doctor for all these equipment? The mechanic. The mechanic. <laughs> so ain't no, no one talking about the mechanic. You never, know what I mean? Never. And I, 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 I spoke to a mechanic, um, I think it's in, um, is, I think it's Alabama or Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. And I say, yo, what's, what's, yeah, I say, yo, what, what's the, the, the take home like? And it, and it was, and it wasn't right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I said, brother, no, these people are abusing it. Oh yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, so, so I say, you know what I mean? When you see Find people, a way for better. Yeah. When you see people can do um, better. things to make yeah. the, the, the world better because mm -hmm. if the truckers ain't moving it's going to be congested oh, oh, out here if the trucks so, ain't so, moving ain't so, nobody going to be so, living yeah so we have to take care of these people who take care of, of us, us exactly. you know what I mean? even in the snow while we inside the truck in the warm <laughs> yeah the mechanic is out in the, <laughs> cold. In the cold you know doing what i mean all work, yo I, doing big all show, work big show man. Enough respect listen one thing know. i can say man, yeah, man. anytime i call him man he, he comes out for me one thing i can definitely yeah, say man, you know? yeah man yeah man at the same time you got to know how to take care of people man like he take care of me, he take care of the truck, I gotta take care of him at the end of the day. That's he's a full circle, you that's, know what I mean? That's all it is, man. You treat, yeah, yeah, you treat yeah. somebody right, they're gonna treat you right too, that's it. Yeah, man, you yeah, know? man. Hold that's up. all it comes down to. Let, let, let Ish, Ish. Ish, bring so, it down, so, bro. Yeah, this is the mechanic right here, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, so. Look, even with a broken finger, he's still working, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing can stop this mechanic. Yo, uh, just, just give a quick shout out on, 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 on the, the YouTube, let them know. You know uh, who you are, and uh, you know how you get into this game real quick. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I guess I just work on Peter Belts all day, pretty much. And, yeah, uh, not, not interesting, really. Yeah, well, hold on. Let me let me let, me let them let them hear they, they, let them hear you um, clearly. So he's saying that he's the Peter Belt guy, and. Yeah. Is it's really nothing to him because you know he's just a humble guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he do it every day, so it's like the next, second nature. It, yeah, second, second nature, nature right now. So you know, it, it's just smooth sailing for him. You know what I mean? So yeah. so so Ish, um, tell the people how you got in this game. Uh, How'd you got in this mechanic? Oh, 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 uh, I grew up around trucks. It was kind of like it was natural. Yeah, it grew was up around trucks. Grandpa had trucks. So so kinda, so. So yeah, yeah. As I say, it's, it's just second nature. Second you just nature yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, that, that's that's some of the best mechanic you can ever find. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, because he, he's been doing it from 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 his grandpa days. You know what I mean? And it's now, like a generational thing. yeah, it's like a generational thing. You know what I mean? So that grows a passion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I, when I when when you do something you'd like to do you don't see it as work you just you enjoy it it's yeah just yeah like, it's second nature it's like you could wake up the morning like all right what do we got to do you look forward to doing it instead of dragging your foot at the morning like oh, all right let's go yeah. get this day over just so i can get an extra penny in my pocket <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? yeah 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 do what you love yeah exactly. love what That's they do the that's you know what I mean? Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see so much, you're, like you prosper so much better in life that way when you do it like that. Way. Oh, yeah. Like life will yeah. be ten times easier, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I would want to do anything else. To be honest with you. No. Nah. Yeah. Yo, yo, you, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, I love that man. I love that. You, you, this man take pride in what he does. Yeah. You know what I mean. And say, same as Gene right here, of take course. pride in in his driving. Of course, you know what I mean. Man. And yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. I say it's a pleasure meeting it's a pleasure Gene meeting and Ish too, man. tonight, man. What's your name again, my brother? Yeah, my name is Altan, man. Altan. Yeah, okay, man. I yeah, man. I gotta keep it. Yeah, Altan, yeah, yeah, man. yeah. I yeah, that. Ish. Sorry, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, the finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, with the broken finger, he's Yo, still this working. Yo, this got a broken finger. He's still he working. ain't stopping. Yeah, yeah. Still make it happen. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yo, it's a joy meeting y'all yeah, tonight, so, man. And so you know, for you, for um, you're gonna be on the road for Thanksgiving, I'm assuming. Yeah. 
definitely I'm working for Thanksgiving. Okay. You know, we, we, we're just chucking because yeah. someone, someone got to move these loads oh, yeah. while, while, every, um, while some, some, some of the chuckers are at home. You know I'm what I mean? I'm going to be at home, but I'm getting ready. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm getting my preload right here, so Friday we get back at it. You know what I mean? Ah, so, yo, that's clever. You know that's clever, mean? yeah. That's clever, man. Get a preload right now tonight. Yeah. Get the day off tomorrow, spend it with the family. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Friday comes, we back to back to reality. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, yeah. there's no days off really in trucking. Yeah, there's no days off. You, you got to um, strategically plan that plan time off. Day. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. There's no days off. So, like, like I said, luckily for me, I'm running local now, you know, so I could be home a little bit more often. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, that's great, man, because family. Oh, oh, oh does the family, um, the, the, yeah, yeah, your family is okay because you, you yeah. get to go home I get to regular. Go home, I don't yeah, have yeah. No kids, no nothing. Um, it's just my mother. My father recently just passed, so. I'm sorry about that, bro. Yeah, so. But my mother, my sisters, niece, nephews, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Yo, I'm the father nice. of the family and I'm the youngest Yo. of all. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yo, what's your age, brother? I'm 27, man. Yo, look at that, <laughs> man. Yo, that's man. blessed. That's blessed. Yeah, so. You know what I mean? So, so, so my question to you is now, brother. Um, what's your favorite big rig? My favorite big ring? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. <laughs> it's going to be a Peter Butt. And if, for you YouTubers, I got a Peter Butt. It's just not the Peter Butt that I would love to have. What, what's this Peter Butt? This is a Peter Butt 579. 579. 2016. This has a pack car in it. People don't like the pack car, but mm -hmm. hey, for the year that I had this truck, this pack car motor been doing me really, really, really good. All right. And it's all about how you treat your equipment. But not to get off topic, the, to your question, yeah. the truck that I really want has to be like a 2005 <laughs> Peterbilt 389, 379 with a cat in it. Uh, yeah. And I'm coming down the road with no emissions to worry about. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, yeah, yeah. man. Yo, yo, that, yo. That's, that's my, you know... You know, God willing, if we grow into where we want to be, and I can just one day go to the dealership and choose my own truck, yeah. how I want to get it specced out, it'd definitely be a Peterbilt with a long nose. Yeah, man. Definitely with a long nose on it. Just, you know, that'd be the one when I could wake up every morning and dance and say, damn, man, I made it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> I got it. I got what I wanted. And, I, you know, God willing, like I said, if we could grow, you know, could have a couple good drivers, like, because I always say I always treat drivers how I would have wanted to be treated as a driver. You know what exactly, I mean? so, exactly. You know, God willing, if we do grow, where we get to where we want to be, we'll have a nice little fleet. I'll have that 379, 389, or whatever it is at the time. Because I know they always yeah. change the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll yeah, get yeah. there, man. One way or another, we'll get there. You gotta have that classic, yeah. man. You gotta have the classic. The classics know? are the best, man. Yeah, man. Old yeah, man. to tell you that. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, it was a pleasure. So, yeah, it was a pleasure, man. Definitely. Ch chatting with you. Um, it was a pleasure Gene. meeting you too. Man. Yeah, man. Bless, brother. Man. Bless, brother. There's and, always a reason yeah, why the finger. Things happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, brother. We got it. <laughs> you gotta be careful. With yeah, yeah. Sick. All right, bless and love, ish. Hey, man. Yeah, man. It's, it's fucking, it's it's a pleasure, pleasure meeting you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We keep it 100, man. Yeah, we keep course, it 100 man. on this to, YouTube man. channel. Subscribe. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. So yeah. Do, so, do you go all 50? Yeah, states, I go all 50 states, man. Yeah. I go all all around, man. But like all for the winter, for. um, sometimes, well, I, I remember one time I stayed off for like three months. Really? You know what I mean? Yeah, you that know what I mean. That was my longest too at one point, and I was like, never yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. no, no, you know, I, I got to do it um a bit a bit better because you know family, family. time is 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 it's family key. is everything. You family know what I mean? Is key. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. You, you have know? any kids or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we got to be home. We got to, yeah, spend yeah. Spend time, quality time, too. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, that's been, how long you been owner-operating? I'm, now I'm interviewing I, you, I, man. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. It's no problem. It's no problem. It's no problem. Well, you know, I've been chucking for like two years now, okay, brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so I just come just, in this game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I just got in the game. Bro. Like I yeah, said, yeah. I came into it. I was only 21. I literally got my CDL on my 21st birthday. I came from the bar the night before, went to go take the test, <laughs> passed the test. And then it, we've been trucking since then, you know. And then, yeah. you know, it was, I look at it like it was meant for me because it was seven other guys in the class with me and I was the only one out of the seven guys that passed that test that day. Wow, yeah. Things happen for a reason, you know. Yeah, man, yeah, and like man. I said, that's, it was my special. 21st birthday. 
I was drunk the night before. <laughs> Yo, that's saying. special, man. You Yo. know what I mean? So, you know, when something is destined for you, it's going to happen. Yes, you know yes, I mean? yes, yes. If yes. it's destined for you, it's going to happen. Yes, and on, 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 on that take, we, 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 this is how we say it on Trump Media. Uh -huh. With a positive mindset, you can achieve anything. Anything you want. Anything. So let's get it. Let's get it, baby. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's a pleasure.